What's up YouTube? Good morning and check it out. Troy Hutchinson here on my channel. It is about 7 a.m. Your boy can't sleep. I'm sitting here thinking, what can I do productive this morning? What can I do to get myself going and get the day started? It's Wednesday, the day after July 4th, the best day in the world. Best day in America at least. <laughs> it, check out this. Will you look at this? She, one of my pet peeves. Let the goodies out. German chocolate cakes, what I think that's called. <sighs> Bless it while I'm still here. Bless it. Your boy's got discipline now. We still got some dishes and stuff. I gotta clean up a little bit. But, it was the 4th of July yesterday. We had a big, a radical cookout yesterday. It was awesome. Family came down. My mom came down from uh, about two hours away is where she lives. It was a good time. Very good time. Uh, had some family over, some friends. Good day. Very good day. Best day in America. Best day of the year. <sighs> so I had to clean up, finish clean up the kitchen a little bit. It's gonna be real. I'm probably not gonna do that right now. I'll do that later. I gotta get my first meal cooked and get it in me. It's gonna be some eggs and some oatmeal. Maybe some toast. Don't know yet. <sighs> Man, I fell asleep at like 11:30 last night, which is early for your boy. Usually I'm like a one o'clocker and I get up around this time. But I've been up since about 6 a.m. just lounging in my bed. Thinking, how can I make my morning productive? So, get ready to make my breakfast and get the day started. It's Boulder Shoulder Day, Wednesday. Everybody knows that. We do shoulders every Wednesday around here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my breakfast cooked. I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit, brush my teeth and everything. Get settled in. And then I want to check in with you guys. I want to uh, update you guys on some big, big, fantastic news that we just received yesterday. So, I want to share it with you guys. But first, let me get my... Uh, Get my morning going, so I'll check back in with you guys. Woo! Done did it again. Mm, ten egg whites, two yolks. Real quick guys, as I'm eating these eggs, I just wanted to touch on something real quick. A lot of people have been mentioning to me like, hey Hutch, um, <laughs> Hutch, sorry, resort back to my name at work. Hey Troy, um, you know, I thought you used to believe in fasting. You said breakfast was not the most important meal of the day. Yeah, I see you talking about how you eat your first meal. It's the most important meal of the day. Now let me touch on that, because this is a touchy subject, okay? What, what I mean is, depend, depending on what your goals are and what you're trying to achieve in the fitness industry, in the world of your life, of you know, bodybuilding, lifting, fitness, it goes two different ways. I'm a hardcore advocate of fasting. I believe it's good for fat loss, it's beneficial when you're on a set amount of calories per day because we have 24 hours in a day. And if you're like me, you sleep five, six hours, you're awake, you're active, you're doing things, you're you're productive. So you're trying to just, you're constantly trying to do something. You're always doing something. So you actually get your you're burning a lot of calories. So your body is in a prime to you know take in more calories but what happens is when you're set to five six meals a day you <laughs> by the time you get to the last fifth or sixth meal you're starving because you're just ravishly eating un uncoordinatedly if that's even the word i'm looking for but literally you're hungry you're in a state of hunger all day long so what i do is when i'm on a set calorie deficiency and i'm, and I'm trying to my goal is to lose weight um you know lose body fat try to maintain lean body mass uh, I, what I do is I fast for you know the 60 hour period and I eat in an eight hour window. That has worked for me tremendously. As you guys remember, I was about 210, I think my lowest point 200 pounds, and I was pretty diced. Um, even when I'm pre prepping for a show, I do the fastening. It, it just helps, you know. I've been in some of the best condition in my life, and uh, it's because of the fastening, fasting cardio, fasted intermediate fasting throughout the day, uh, eating in that eight hour window. It just left me just the right amount of time to get my meals down because I was I was ravishly starving throughout the day. So when I train my body to wake up, not resort to food, it literally adapted. Now, my goals have changed and my goals are changing again. Uh, again, life throws throws wheels at us, it throws hard balls. You have to adapt. That's all you can do is adapt to any situation you're given. So what, kind of bother me. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, Depending on your goal here, it depends on what you're, you know, how you should approach breakfast. Um, me right now, I'm trying to take as many calories as possible. I'm trying to get as big as I possibly can. Well, 
not as big as possible. I'm trying to gain the most lean body mass possible. So I'm eating the cleanest foods I can get my hands on. Uh, you know, considering yesterday was Fourth of July, I had a few snacks, a few uh, you know pieces of buns with some of my hamburgers. But this is. It's America, for God's sakes, people. You know, you got to live it up on that day. So don't be afraid to have that cookie or something. Whatever you have, don't feel guilty about it. Refresh day, start over, start to grind again, keep killing it. This weekend, no cheat meals. No cheat meals, no cheat snacks this weekend. Keep it clean for yourself. Push through the weekend till next weekend. You know, you'll, you're, you will thank yourself in advance. Uh, but see, my goals now are to put on as much lean body mass as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm waking up. I have to eat first thing in the morning. No exceptions. I got to get this meal in me. I got to get primed for the gym, get ready for my workout. Your workouts, when you're lifting heavier to get stronger and bigger, your workouts need fuel. If I'm not eating the proper amount of nutrition, my body's not going to have the proper fuel to push itself to the limit. So what you have to do is wake up, get a good meal on you. It don't have to be a huge meal. I, I eat half a cup of oatmeal. This is 10 egg whites with one, one or two egg yolks. This is not a lot of food. This is simply 200, about 390 calories at the most right here. Maybe 400 some, give or take. This is not a lot of food. Considering some of my meals are about 800 or more calories a day. So this is easily going to be digested. It's 7.30 now. It's going to be easily digested by the time I go to the gym around 9, 9.30 and pump out shoulders. So if it's, you know, if I was to wake up an hour before my workout, I would literally eat maybe five egg whites and maybe a quarter of a cup of oatmeal. But, you know, it's adapt to any situation you're given. Don't, don't really dwell on, you know, to, well, I've been fasting and people say I got to stay fasting. Do what you feel comfortable with. Do what makes you comfortable and that you are able to adapt to and maintain a healthy lifestyle with. If fasting is the thing that you can do and you want to try to bulk on that, it can be done. It's been done. So, and you know, and it has been done. Try it anyways. I mean, no one says, no one can knock it if you, you know, you can't knock it until you try it. So, but basically guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick little explanation of that because people have been asking me about, you know, how I, I used to fast and I used to say breakfast was not meant to be, but it all comes down to what your goals are and it, you know, basically you're dieting, you're cutting. If you want to fast, that's the way to take it. That's the way I would do it. So if I'm dieting again, I will cut, I will start fastening and, you know, during my cut. Uh, as for right now, I'm still bulking right now. I want to hit that 250 mark. I really think I could push myself to get it. Uh, we're staying relatively lean. The results are going good. Strength's going through the roof. I did a new PR yesterday of 500 pounds on squat. Did not get it on footage. Uh, <laughs> kind of regret it, but it, it is what it is. Definitely, I'll probably just have to do it next week for you guys on film. So, but it felt great. So the, the results are in the making. Uh, it, literally, the proof is in the making. It just literally everything's working. It's going great. But I'm gonna finish these eggs up. And I'm gonna check back into you and give you guys the big news. What's up guys? So here we are. I just got done with my breakfast. We are chilling. It's almost going on eight now. I got kind of lost into social media world. You know how that is. Everybody does it. Um, I actually have to do a little bit of writing and touch up on a, a little bit of a business plan here. But um, I'm going to do that after I get this done. I wanted, wanted to get this video done with you guys. But so yesterday we were doing pictures uh, with the family and the wife talked me into wearing this long, <laughs> this, as much as you guys know, I don't wear a long, um, loose fitting clothes. I don't wear like, you know, I just, I prefer my tighter fitting clothes, the fitted apparel that most people in fitness wear. That's what I prefer. But you know, picture day, family event. I wore the Fort July shirt to show love for my country and the, um, the many, many things that's offered me, I could at least do that much for it. Um, but we uh, surprised the family to let them know that, um, Big news came to the family. We are actually expecting to grow, as you guys can see here in the picture. <laughs> we actually, um, the wife is about 10 to 12 weeks, I think she is now, and we are expecting a, another little one on the way. So that makes number three. So th this changes a lot. This changes a lot in my plans. Uh, but first and foremost, before I, I ramble on here, I have no shape or form regretful of any of this everything in your life happens for a reason everything you do is for a cause every reaction is uh, is to an action it just life works that way the universe aligns things for things to, certain things to happen for you to meet certain people and i will stand by that because the people i have in my life that matter the most and the most supportive people i have and my friends they are there because they they, they offer something to me they, they benefit me in a way just as if i benefit them they give me something that I need that I don't have. Just as if my family does, my loved ones, uh, it, it all collaborates into a bigger picture. 
a bigger picture than you can even picture in your mind. It'll blow you away if you actually can understand the concept of everything. I will too. I mean, I'm not saying I understand it, but I'm blessed with everything I have in my life. I'm excited for a new, uh, you know, it's, it's a life-changing event, and it always is. But I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, it's going to put a damper in my plans for my future. What it is, is I have to adapt. Once again, I have to adapt. Life's throwing a curveball at me. And, uh, you know, at first I was kind of upset. I, I won't lie, because I was, content, <laughs> I was content with two Rugrats. And here I am with a third one coming, and it's kind of just like, well, what do I do now? Where do I go with this? How do I approach this? How do I, you know, how do I still, you know, pursue my dreams and my um, desires and goals while making sure my kids get everything they need? And it just, it dawned on me that I'm sitting here thinking of a way, I was sitting there thinking of how can I get a, I don't know how to say this, that sounding terrible. I was thinking of how, you know, why me? Why am I, why am I getting put in another hardball position? Uh, financially, it would be hard, a little bit tougher. Uh, you know, time-wise, be a little tougher. But then I started thinking about the people who are trying to have kids and are struggling to have kids, are struggling to get, you know, to even get impregnated. Uh, I know a couple people who have actually had to do the artificial insemination, and it dawned on me like that could be me, you know. And here I am complaining, wondering why me when I need to reverse that thought. That negativeness and be like, dude, this is awesome. This is a blessing. Everything. It is a plan. There's a bigger plan here than I. I don't even know what the plan is, but I know that the man above's got the plan, so he's writing it as we go. So I don't know what it is, but I'll gladly follow it. You know, I'll, I'll, I will follow this path as long as I have to. Um, hopefully, this is it, though. This is the third one. We're, of course, we'll hope for a girl, but a healthy boy will be just fine. Um, you know, I'll have a. A full offensive line playing <laughs> on, the, on the house. Um, it is a blessing, and I'm I'm glad and I'm, and I'm honored to be able to get a chance to be a father again. The hardest thing about being a father is it's not even being a father. It's <laughs> or finding the time. It's finding a way to split your love and share it with everybody. How how is it like you know? How can I love this? this son more than this son or you know am I gonna love if we have a girl I'm gonna love her more than I love my boys you know I you don't know so you have to find that balance to where you're not spoiling one and not the other and trust me my both mine are spoiled hands down I'm guilty of it I'm sorry <laughs> that I just want to give them the world I want to give them every opportunity that I didn't have and every parent every parent wants to do that every parent wants to give their kid this 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 ungodly amount of attention and Make the, they want to make their life path, the path of their life, easy. You, you want to chisel the way for them. Show them that this is the way you need to take. And a lot of times when you do that, it doesn't, it doesn't work out very well because you got to fall to learn to get back up. And as sad as it is to see people fall that you love, a lot of times you have to just let that be. You have to understand that you fell to get where you were. You fell to get back up to get where you were. They have to do the same thing. They have to learn to be independent. So, that's a little bit further down the road, though. <laughs> so, it's going to be, I'll probably, have, oh, man, I'll have a seven-year-old. Cut will be close to two. When we have, you know, a little bit after we have this third one. So, you're looking at a good good variety of age gap there. But, you know, at least, why not get it out of the way now? Let's get it out of the way now, right? For I'm not getting any younger. Lord knows that. In light of all the news, um, I'm still with my business partner. We're still talking big things. Um, that will be coming out soon. We'll be releasing that information soon too as well. We're just trying to get some um, better documents of it. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Some better numbers. Uh, as for me doing a show, it, <laughs> the idea was to do this lean bulk. I was going to start cutting July after July 4th, which was yesterday. I was going to start dining down cutting for um, a show in September. I was going to attempt to do the September show in Pennsylvania. And... In light of everything, I think my best bet to play it safe, and, and I hate saying it like that because I'm not, I'm a risk taker. I like to look at myself as a risk taker. But to be sure, I don't, I'm not gonna go to a show and die for a show just to go and lose. If I'm going to do a show, my intent is to win. I wanna give it absolutely everything I have and kill it. There's no reason to go do something half ass. There's no reason to do that. And anything you do, if you do anything with, with heart and determination, 
do it to the fullest. Not halfway and say, well, I'm here, I did it, I did this part, I'm, you know, I didn't win, but at least I did it. Loser say that, guys. That's what something a loser would say. That's not what I want to do. Um, however, I still am debating here, okay? I want to do a show this year, I'm pretty sure. I had that itch. I've been watching some videos, motivational videos, uh, bodybuilding, and just seeing the cuts and striations again. I want to see what I have underneath all this extra weight. You know, I put on, we put on anywhere from 30 to, I'll say 25 to 35 pounds. I can't remember, I have to go back and look and see what I wrote down, see what my actual starting weight was. I want to say it was 210. I'm about 240 right now. So we're looking, I may have been a little bit lighter than 210. I may have been around like 205. So we're looking about 30, 35 pounds, which that's awesome because the, the amount of you know leanness I've still been able to hold on to and put this size on has just been phenomenal. In a matter of eight, nine weeks, I feel great. Uh, I've literally, this is the best bulk that I've ever done in the amount of time I've done it in. I put on, I, I learned the power of food. Food is just an essential tool to do anything you'll do with your body. It just, if you don't eat right, you will not grow. It's physically impossible. If you don't eat enough, you will not grow. If you don't eat the right amount of healthy foods and a caloric deficit, you will not get leaner. Your body, food is everything in this industry, hands down. But what I want to do is, I want to do a show, I believe there's one in no November, I believe this is the last show of the year. I think it's in West Virginia, um, Wheeling, West Virginia, down to Casino, if I remember right. Uh, I'm really trying to see if there's a couple people that want to go do that show with me. I would love to start in, I believe I'd start dieting around, it would be August or September, which would be perfect, about a month out from now. And it's not that I don't want to diet, I'm ready to diet, I'm ready to get lean again, let's be honest, you know. I mean, not looking too bad for the size, but I'm ready to see, as I said, what I'm holding, the potential I have under here. My legs have just been phenomenally growing stronger and bigger, my back's got thicker, uh, I never had a problem with the ab area. The abs always come. Every time I've dieted down, I've done, I've done three extreme diets, two for a show, and I did one before both shows just to see if I can actually have the discipline to diet. And all three times, my, my abdominal area region was perfected. I'm not, you know, you can look at some of my pictures on my social media, uh, you know, me posing my shows. The abs were there, the bleats were there, and I don't, I never did any ab workouts. That was strictly diet cardio. So, I mean, I'm just curious to see how how much bigger and blockier I can look coming uh, come dry and shredded for a show. But, as I said, in light of everything, um, I'm hoping this weekend to have the final touches on the website done. It's taken, well, it's a longer process than I thought it was going to be, but I'm grateful for Mike who is helping me with it because uh, without his help, I probably wouldn't be where we're at right now. So, that should be up soon. And it's going to be hard juggling that uh, full-time father, pregnant wife, uh, maintaining somewhat of a social life still. But if I can do it, guys, if I can mingle and and squeeze and collaborate all that in, in, into a lifestyle, and it's perfectly happy. I'm perfectly happy with all of that. With everything I do, with everything I have, it goes to show you guys that there's enough time in a day for you to do what you need to do. One thing that got to me is say it. One thing that irks me is when people say, I don't have the time. I'm not going to get started on that subject. I'm not going to get rambling on that because I can go on forever. There's time in the day, guys. There's absolutely, there's 24 hours in the day. The great Arnold Schwarzenegger always said, 24 hours in a day. Sleep six, that leaves you 18 hours to do what you got to do. A lot of people are like, six hours of sleep? Yes, yeah, six hours. Good gosh, people. You don't need more than that. The body, the whole eight hours of sleep, Forget that crap. Six hours of sleep is all you need. I'm lucky to get that sometimes. Sometimes I get about five. Again, I have obstructive sleep apnea. I struggle to stay asleep. I toss and turn. But I get that amount of sleep. I'm good to go. I'm primed. That's all you need. Your dreams will give you the fuel that you need to go. So don't ever say you don't have time. It's possible. There's much, much more successful people out there than people I know or even considerably close to myself. I'm not. You know, I don't consider myself anybody of importance. But what I'm saying is, if I could do it, if people had the most successful business, in, you know, out there, they they have to tell you their days are timed. They sleep four or five hours. They wake up. They grind, grind, grind. A little bit of social time, a little bit of family time. Grind, grind, grind. Bedtime. It's an endless cycle. It's a it's mostly a remedy of routine. That's what it takes. It's not easy. If it was easy, you guys already know everybody would be doing it. 
So anyways guys, I just wanted to share the news with you that I uh, we discovered on this beautiful you know, July 4th day. And uh, it could have been a better day, guys, because we went to the fireworks at our local Lancaster uh, fairgrounds, and they always put on a heck of a show. It's a beautiful show. And they outdid themselves this year. It was just a phenomenal show. The grand finale was amazing. Uh, I got to you know, hold my youngest son, Cutler, and he just absolutely loved it. And uh, it's, if you guys follow me on social media, you saw the picture. Captured that whole day in that one picture. The fireworks, holding my son, holding my, wearing my Pure Fitness hat, it was... Uh, it was a good picture. I, I, as soon as I got it, I'm like, man, that's that's everything of this day, of this this adventure I call life, and one picture. And it's truly amazing. It's, it's, it's heart touching. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to <clears throat> get some work done, get ready to smash some shoulders. I just wanted to share this all with you guys, share my, my awesome day with my family, and share the big news. So, with that said, though, guys, remember to stay grinding, stay on your chosen course on your path, don't ever let anybody ever tell you you can achieve your dreams. If you can believe in your mind, you feel it in your heart, make time for it, make time for it. So, tell next episode guys, have a blessed day.